hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today we are making a septic tank the size is 12 by 13 and as you can see we'll use instead of using the manual diggers we are using this tractor to dig it because it digs it faster so it is digging it 12 um it's digging it 12 by 13 and then 10 feet deep so the depth is 10 feet so as you can see that's what the car is doing so it's digging and yeah so it's done digging and you can see the workers are taking out every any stones and then there was clay down there so we decided to put like um, this black rubber down there so now we are mixing the concrete to lay the concrete down flat on the rub um, the rubber in the man the septic tank manhole septic septic tank yeah so um we decided to make it very strong so it's one cement equals to two wheelbarrow wheel wheelbarrows of sun please wheelbarrows of sun so one cement to two wheelbarrows of sand so um as you can see they are pouring it inside and there's one worker inside trying to spread it in he didn't come into the cut because of where i was standing so they are done and this is the next day we are mixing the mortar to start the block laying so that's what you can see as you can see um they're mixing it very well and we also kept the same ratio one cement one cement bag to two hue barrels of sand because we want to make it very strong and make sure that there's no leakages and it's very strong because in the future we don't want any leakages and for the house to smell so you're keeping it's two sand of wheelbarrows to one bag of cement so as you can see they are laying the blocks and these are six inches blocks six inches blocks is what we used for the um septic tank as you can see we also we built the the um we we laid the blocks to a certain part and then we we um, decided to um, put in the uh, concrete work for the um, pillars. So you can see we laid four pillars because the next day they are going to start um, plastering so that the next they will plaster and then do the other side as well so that the work move, moves faster because it's the raining season. So now this is the plastic. We decided to use waterproof cement. That's the brand that I chose because it's the cheapest and it's five cities and it does the job. So we still we still kept the same ratio, um, two real sounds of fuel barrel to one bag of cement and then one, one waterproof cement to one bag of cement. That's what we did. And then you can see they are mixing everything up so yeah and now they are slapping it on the wall <laughs> they're slapping the um the um the mixture on the wall and the plastering is ongoing you can see that um it's this is the system that we're using to to plaster the the um the septic tank so yeah they really did a great job and then now the carpenter came he laid down the woods and then the steel bender also came and then he laid down the secret beams so we are doing four secret beams because in the future we decide to use this place as a car park so we made it very strong so now they're mixing the um the concrete mixture for the concrete work and we still kept the same ratio one cement bag to two wheelbarrows of sand and you can see they are mixing it very well and then we also used the waterproof cement yes so waterproof cement and this time um two bags of waterproof cement to one bag of cement so now the ratio changes two bags of waterproof cement to one bag of um one bag of um cement and then we still kept the um the um the ratio of two wheelbarrows to one bag of cement and as you can see we did the mixture and we are pouring it inside with a waterproof cement you don't have to worry because it's um everything is stated on the on the bag so you can read and whatever you're using the waterproof cement for you'd be able to 
know the ratios and please you have to be on site because most of these artisan workers they don't really know and then they'll be like oh you can use one bag to mix um six bags and that's not right so you can see we are done with the work we are done with the, con um, the concrete work and it's all nice and smooth and yeah so now the the slabs for the openings this is what i decided that they should do because in the future we are going to seal it up and then this is the only holes that we're going to use to access the um the septic tank and then this is we we did this one because yeah thanks for watching <laughs>